Welcome back to Ellen Wake 2. We are currently in some subway station. It's crazy. It's very confusing. You have to constantly move things around, uh, remove lights, add them somewhere else to open pathways. You have to go to the plot board and uh, change the storyline. It's like very intertwined and very crazy. So very much like the first game, but even crazier. So if the first one was already crazy, this one is even more crazy. <laughs> I'm also constantly trying to get all of these words power words they give you like a skill point basically and it's quite hard sometimes to reach them in this area we are getting there at the moment we can go through here i think is it this way oh my god this place is so confusing jesus i open up this way now now we should be here all right, I want to go here, I think, so. Oh no, not you again. Get a hobby. How do I get, what? Oh man, I kid you all already. Do I have to go through that door? Yeah, okay. Hi, it's me, hi. I'm Ellen Wick, it's me. Ah, wow, there's so many! <laughs> I'm not panicking, you're panicking. Oh. The way they slowly follow you, man. This is just creepy. Could you just go for good, please? <sighs> okay, so. We kind of have to go back in here. I don't know how to reach this. We shall run around and try to find it. Do I have to go back in the water? Do I have to turn the light on in the train again? Oh. oh crap, two of them? I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo? That's the first. Shit, man, what do I do now? You can't take the words. Dodging! <laughs> That's what we do, we dodge. Hello, my shadowy friends, how's it going? Oh my god. You don't have this is my story. Oh, this is not your story. I'm There's writing no the story. Escape. No, I have no ammo. <laughs> How am I gonna do this? And this is ah! oh, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't pause. Oh, it doesn't pause when you're in the menu. What? Damn. Well. Point of interest cases track objects and information that Saga has required to chart collection progress. I still don't know what they mean with that, but okay. Have I done any progress at all or just wasted away my stuff? The thing is that I kinda am trying to... I was trying to get to this point, but maybe that's the wrong approach. Although I don't think it is. Maybe I have to... I don't know. It's, why is this place so confusing? Have I unlocked you? I have. Where to fix. Gosh, how many are there? More health, maybe? Yeah, more health. All the way up. Let's go. Can't hurt to have more health, right? It's a bit annoying that you always have to click all of the through all of these again. They always get me. I think, oh, I got something new. Nice. And then, nope, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, I have ten more bullets. This is not good. I need something new. <laughs> Complete the ritual in the collapsed tunnel. So we go back to the collapsed tunnel now. We seem to be in the right area at least. Excuse me, ghost. <laughs> you stand still while I check the map. Yeah, could you just wait? Um, uh, 
shave. Not that I did anything, but, you know. Man, I so, so want to get this. <laughs> but maybe that's where I'm gonna get to now. I don't know. I like the map, it has nice little detailed stuff. Yeah, but it's also kind of confusing. Wake. Oh yeah, I've been here already. Okay, never mind. Bye! Saifu, thank you very much for the bits. Thank you. I wonder what that music is. Hi! Long time no see. How's it going? Do you have any restocks on your stuff? No? Okay. Alright, they want me to go here. So let's go. This new plot beat would carry me deeper into the story. Summoning a ritual. Have I tried the torch bearers in this area? Let's see what happens if I go here. Maybe if something changes. Brazil. Tree of the world. Alright, it doesn't look like there's anything else to do here. Right? Yarp. What's this? The drifters had scrawled their symbol on the wall. A secret for those in the know. But what does it mean? What secret? Hi, Irish. Hmm. All right. I guess we move on. Uh, collapse tunnel, and now summoning ritual. The scene had changed. I fart one more time, maybe it helps. Uh, 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 oh boy, oh dear, come on, come on, button, 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 button. Jesus, and then light, 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 can get me here. I'm safe here. Right? I'm safe here. Hopefully. I couldn't hear the dark presence. It was gone. Good. Now what? I wasn't scared. <laughs> sure, safe. Mm. <laughs> mm. Did it burst through this? The tunnel was open now. Nice. Get through. No. Stop looking behind you, you idiot. Okay, this is not helping. Maybe it's helping a bit. Oh god, crouching too? dark presence 
I'd seen it before. I remembered now. It was always out there, hunting me. Ugh. A light jog. <laughs> Oh man, that always drives me nuts. I mean, yes, you cannot sprint, full sprint, for long if you're not trained, but you can't sprint, right? He's he's not like Tonke or anything. He could he should be able to run a little bit faster than this. He's he's the same speed as Ethan Winters, you know. Which is just like a Sunday morning walk with grandma. <laughs> what is this place? Just a quick check. Oh man. <gasps> it's a sacrifice table, yeah. I had found the murder site. Somehow the victim's heart was the key. And here it is. to home. An FBI agent? Who are you? What is this? Who are you? She can hear me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. We can hear you. This is Alan Wake. I'm trapped here. The dark place. Under Cauldron Lake. Mount Cauldron Lake. Who are you? I'm trying to escape. I'm making progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please, help me. I could sense it. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed. Outside, Parliament Tower, where I'd lived with Alice. It was out there, waiting for me. End of part. Ooh. So basically the story is that you are trying to get Ellen out of the dark place, where he is trapped since the first game. New York City trophy earned. Gosh. Dude, I've seen you so much. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's anything that I should be looking out for here in this area. I just can't picture any batteries lying around here. <laughs> What's this? Who was writing who? Who was writing this poem? Me? No. Who's Alice? Alice was... is his wife. Alice Wake. The writer of the first word, not the writer of the last. With the terror of the light and the shadows cast. The third eye now open to project the night. This is the moment to write. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. What do you mean you've seen this kind of guy so much lately? No, this guy, this particular guy on the sacrificing table, I've seen him so many times. <laughs> He's everywhere. Stepping to the murder site, I'd felt it hanging in the air. A meaning, the violent emotion of the act, like a cloud of wrath. The dead eyes of the victim staring at something you couldn't see, and yet making you aware of it. Something that soaked into this place on a molecular level, overlapping with your meaningless existence. A regression to something you had managed to forget, marking you, 
Taking you for a ride. Making you crazier. Hi Kyle, welcome in. I'm good, how are you doing? Happy Saturday. Heartless bigger dad dudes, can't get rid of them. Nope, they're everywhere. <laughs> Guys, I, I literally, every, it goes against everything, you know? Like, I, I don't want to move forward here. I want to get this and this, but I just, I would for, be stuck there forever. literally pains me. I hope that maybe if I continue with this path, I will get there eventually, but I don't know. Nobody knows. Where the heck am I now? <laughs> Up here? How did I... You know, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna ask. <laughs> Wait, I've been... The hell? That's the one that I already got, right? Yeah, so what the heck? All right, this looks suspiciously normal. It doesn't look like this other place, you know, the other world. I feel, I think what I need to do is go to my apartment that I used to have with Ellis, right? Hmm. Am I locked out of this now? Can I never go back? Oi. Well, I guess I gotta leave. Murder site. What's this radio? No, yeah, I think I have to leave, sadly. The station had changed. I was closer now. What's with all the moss? <laughs> it's because we left the, le the light on, right? I don't know if I should pick up the light. Maybe I should. Bonk. Parliament Tower. Our home in New York. Was I really this close to being New home? York, Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. Time loses meaning here. How long have I been trying to escape? Long enough for Alice to think I'm dead. In loving memory of Alan Wake, an author and a husband. It sounds kind of underwhelming, doesn't it? I hear a telephone ringing. The dark place, the dark place, the dark place, the dark place, the dark place. The payphone at the edge of the plaza was ringing again. What, where? Here. Hi, Diem. Hey, Alan. Thank God it picked up. I thought I lost you again. Who are you? Why are you helping me? It's his own voice, isn't it? Did you go deeper? To the Oval app? Are you talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I... That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. Well, we would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower? To make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello? Oh, shit. I don't have a good feeling about this. This is where we live, damn. I'm a writer. Maybe he was a victim. The cult using his words. Or 
Maybe he was the monster behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? I'm kind of excited to see his hot blonde wife <laughs> in this version. Perhaps in high new hair. What do you mean with new hair? It's the same hair that I always have. All right. Boop. Dum, 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 dum. Come on, give me music. No elevator music, damn. <gasps> Haunting initiation three. Oof. Alice's photo equipment set to go off when the door opens. Oh God, this gives me memories of. Of the, I think it was the DLC that was had a, having a similar scene like to this. Alice! Leave me alone! Alice! Alice! Who the fuck is Alice? <laughs> this is the door to my study, where I wrote my books. The symbol wasn't here before. I'm gonna just look around before I go rescue my wife that is not there <laughs> probably damn that's one hell of an apartment sheesh video art doc on screen molt focal point of the dark place okay Part one. Alice's memory card. Ooh. Is that peanut butter? <laughs> Guys, crunchy or smooth? Peanut butter. Let the fight begin. <laughs> Creamy smooth, okay. Oh, you, you are older. <laughs> when I was younger, photography was everything to me. I moved to New York thinking I'd make it as an artist. And then I met Alan. We had a good thing. We were both dedicated by our creative ambitions. The only difference was that Alan's work made money. He brought me work when he could. I took his promo shots, um, created covers for his books. I'm sure he forced his publisher into it. I was taking photos, just not my photos. And that gnawed at me. Things got complicated sometimes, but that's life, right? We loved each other. Then, uh, Alan hit a block. I brought out a meaner side of him. One I didn't like. I set up a trip to see a doctor in Washington. I didn't tell him until we got there. We argued. Things went wrong. Then he was just gone. Drowned, allegedly. It's easy for people to think it was my fault. Hell, I do. 
too sometimes. No. About six years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. Then it got violent. It was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. Mr. Scratch? Or Scratch? He always did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. I'm calling this exhibit The Dark Place. Alice. Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? Damn. Kraken, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Everybody enjoy the emotes. Thank you so, so much, Kraken. Wow. Oh, man, it's so hard to wrap your, your head around all of these. The, the stories of these games are always so incredibly complex, I think. It's hard to puzzle it all together. I want to interact with that at last. The door wouldn't open. Because I feel that it was important. I wanted to avoid the progression of the main story because I thought it was in here, maybe. Alice. This is a photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? Pick photo for exhibition posters. Is he stalking her? Pick photos for exhibition posters. Okay, good. Yeah, you were supposed to come in here first. <laughs> Bingo, hi, thanks for the 12 month resub. And a raid, thank you for the raid, Bings. Thank you. Welcome in, guys. How was the stream? What have you guys been up to? Welcome in. room and wrote a story initiation to project myself through the dark place to look for a way out the story had brought me here brought me nowhere loop me back I was writing this story and in the story I now stepped into the writer's room but there was no one here writing Part. That was a short part. It's by far the best CGI I've seen in a game. It's not CGI. <laughs> that was actual 
actual actors. Getting one trophy after another here. Holy shit. Oh, are we... Are we Saga again? Okay, let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. But your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes. Fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when it, when night falls. But last time, it... this will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded, and that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I, I can send him back to the dark place, make all this shit go away. I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is, is full of holes, and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It, it's like it's like it's like a half-forgotten dream. See, they're drinking simultaneously again. Mr. Wake. Alan. We've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. Are we playing as her again? Oh, here we are. It's insane. And there's so much of it. Heard of the cult of the tree. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness. Possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The cult. Yes. Yes, they have the clicker. Okay. Hi, Trivius. Welcome in. So it's like the upside down. It's all so confusing, man. <laughs> okay, are they working with Scratch? If the cult has the clicker, does that make them Scratch's followers? 
How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, mm. if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Profiling, let's go. The cult and the clicker. Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter, the next chapter, the next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. All right, and what's about the scratch? Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Scratch and Wake. Scratch looks just like Wake. How can Why? we tell them apart? <laughs> Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. Wow. Wow. That's gonna be very confusing. What's this? Weapon upgrades. If only the rest of the Bureau knew what a softy Casey is. Uh, all right, we have five, five of these things, and um, I don't even have half of anything that I could upgrade. So I guess we, we stuck with this. You're hiding pages. Okay, Mr. Wake, I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. Could we not make photocopies and <laughs> he has the originals and we have the copies? Well, vice versa. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew a weapon. Thanks, Mr. Wake. Can I look around here and get some more stuff? Oh, we are in this hotel and this is our board. Do you guys remember yesterday I was looking into this and I was like, wait, they have the same information like I do in some in some shady hotel, how is this, this possible? It is actually basically our office. I don't know if I was supposed to come in there yet. But I remember walking in here being like, oh boy. A shoe box. Uh, uh, folks, what happened here? Let's <laughs> quick save. Shoe box. Wait, do we share? Do we? No, we don't share, right? Uh, what's that? Shotgun ammo. And I have a shotgun. How lovely. Is it lovely? Wait, what is this? A rocket flare. Single shot flare inflicts heavy damage in a large area on impact. Ooh. Cool. Wait, uh, how many pills do I have? None. Let me take those out. Move. Nice. And this? Propane tank. Throwable gas canister. Detonates when shot, inflicting heavy damage on anything nearby. <laughs> wow. Okay. This is HQ. Okay. Headquarters. 
I already petted you, Mr. Deer. Wake has more information. Oh, he does? Oops, sorry. I need to keep questioning him. I probably have to go to my board, don't I? Checking the manuscript pages. The trailer. David, oh my god, thank you for the 4,494 bits to fill the first goal of the day. Thank you so much. My friend, guys, we have one song at the end of the stream with the bits now, and one song with the extra song, Redemption. Deja vu. <laughs> thank you so much, my chum. You, you just write down what song I can sing for you, okay? Thank you so much. Uh, all right, manuscript page. Return three, local girl, the trailer. Standing inside the trailer at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker. But we, we already heard this. So this is not news. Case board. Cases. Oh boy, there's a lot of new information. Murder at Cauldron Lake. Alan Wake interview. Wake just gave us a lot of information. But this clicker... Seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. The clicker. The clickety clicks. Where is the clicker? Standing inside the trailer at the outskirts of Watery. So this seems like okay, this is okay. gonna give me a location. Trailer. Wake, the cult of the tree is in possession of the clicker. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. Wake's clicker in cult possession, somewhere in watery trailer significance somehow. Rafael, thanks for the two month visa. Welcome back. Enjoy the emails. How you doing? All right, next. Mm, murder at Cauldron Lake. What's this? Case closed. Nightingale Boom. goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? The crazy kind. Cult of the tree. The cult could be followers of Scratch. They have the clicker after all. Hmm. Uh... Um, who's involved? Maybe... Nope. Nope! Okay. Gotcha. Call ritual, writing part of ritual... Nope. Uh, here? The goal. Call to working for with someone. This story! The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? <laughs> uh, Mike, I sing the songs that people pick from a song list. I'm not a jukebox, sadly. I can't sing whatever. But uh, I have a song list and people choose which song I sing at the end. The cut... Co the top contributors up in the golds there. <clears throat> Never noticed the uh, oh dear diner sweater. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's the pre-order, a pre-order special thing. Uh, fiction coming into contact with the dark place has the power to change reality. Uh, The story changes our reality, be reality bit by bit. The process is gradual. Must get the clicker before Scratch. Uh, with it, the story can be changed and Scratch will be sent back to the dark place. Hmm. No? Wow, that's a lot of- oh, oh shit, oh wow. How to start the story? This? A magic light switch? Where do I even start with that? The clicker. 
If we don't stop at scratch, we'll use the story to permanently change reality in the st at the start of the deer fest. Um. There's an entity inside the dark place called the Dark Presence. That's not right. That's not right. No, that's not right either. The Dark Place. Oh, there. Whoops. The Dark Presence. Scratch and the Dark Presence are interchangeable. Flashlight seems to we, c we can take in. Nope. Wake. In the form of Scratch, the Dark Presence is editing Wake's story. He wants to turn the world into a fucking nightmare. There. Wake was trapped in the Dark Place for 13 years. Right. Some other strange reality, the Dark Place merged with ours, this place, and the Dark Place, the page called the area an overlap. The overlap. I entered the Cauldron Lake overlap by reciting the poem. How to enter through the poem. I need to put the flashlight somewhere. Mm. The rules, maybe? No. Dark place, dark presence? Uh huh. Light in the dark presence. It would make sense that light is effective against the dark presence, too. Inside a bright light, Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her. This is for later? How am I gonna progress then? <laughs> what else is there to do? Maybe another case for now? Hmm. Stash found by a bridge near Cauldron Lake. <clears throat> Cauldron Lake here? Whoosh. Alright, are we done now with this or... There's nothing new I can do, so now we drive to Watery, right? It's all on the page. The clicker. The cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. <laughs> no bully. From now on, you can switch between Alan and Saga stories via the bucket in the janitor's break room. Feel free to play in whatever order you choose. What? Is the janitor too here too? Why the bucket? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Why a bucket? <laughs> what the hell? About these pages, Mr. Wake. You wrote these pages in the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them up. I remember writing an endless amount of pages, but when this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you for your cooperation. Sorry, mate. Now I have more information for the cult of the tree. It remembers writing many pages while in the dark place. Uh, cult go. Who's involved? All right. Can I fast travel to places? Valhalla Nursing Home. Yes. <laughs> Sheriff Station. Oh dear diner. Oh damn. Sweet. OK. 
Okay, how can I progress? Can I just leave this place or... How does it work? List any more evidence your Casey theory? My Casey theory? What do you mean? I'm the only one who understands the forces behind this. I can help you. No, no, no. That's not how this works. You're a civilian and we don't do ride-alongs. And if Scratch is after you, then so is the cult. We don't know who we can trust here. Damn it, you are making a mistake. Mm-hmm. I'll be sure to add that to the list. I'm not sure, like I said this earlier, that I think that maybe Saga is the only one that can see Alex Casey, but I I think maybe Ellen can see him too. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody else directly talk to Casey. And even then, it could be just her answering and she projecting him. Hi, welcome. Hello. Okay, past favorite Deerfest floats. Go. The yarn puppet monstrosity. The stuffed moose and squirrels one. No, thank you. Those beady dead marble eyes still give me nightmares. The dancing guy is gone. Is one of you the dancing guy? Yeah, you were the dancing guy. You were so happy, so man. So for a bet this year? A hundred bucks says there will be at least one fender bender between the floats. Hello, and welcome to Coffee World, Washington's best coffee shop. Oh. Park. All of our are it won't open. Just like our coffee. I would really like to get so, a bolt cutter. A oh, dear. Diner oh, dear. Let so let me check if there's anything in the in the town. Maybe I missed something and I would really like to get there. And it's daytime, so we can basically free roam, right? We can check everything. Maybe I'm gonna find some... A radio! Davis family beef jerky will now be available at the Sunday market in three delicious flavors. That's right! Our favorite sponsor, Davis family beef jerky, can now be enjoyed in smoked hickory. Teriyaki and hickory teriyaki. Hickory teriyaki. I handed out samples here at the Valhalla Nursing Home and thought I'd catch up with one of our residents to get her thoughts. Donna, how are you? I've got chronic back pain from my spinal stenosis. Oh dear. You know when I'm feeling stiff, I find a light snack helps. So did you try that beef jerky? No. Lunch is at 11, and I wanted to save my appetite because today was the fish soup with crackers. You're allowed up to four crackers, but I only take one unless I have a glass of cranberry juice. They ran out of cranberry juice at breakfast, which is at 7. I didn't take the oatmeal today because it makes me gassy before cribbage, and I can't... So you didn't try the jerky? Got it. Well, that's too bad, Donna. Their new teriyaki flavor sure does hit the spot. They had teriyaki salmon with rice on Friday's dinner menu. Dinner's at five, but we all know the salmon takes longer to prepare, and then you're late for bingo. And who needs all that spice? I agree. Teriyaki is a shit flavor. Who? Is that Tapio? How are you on the line? I couldn't end the call. You've been on the phone this entire time? Yes. And I hate teriyaki. Well, it's delicious. On jerky. So, let's give a big thank you to Wendy Davis for these samples. Wendy? No, that can't be right. Wendy went missing in 2010. I heard she's dead. No, I'm, I'm referring to Wendy Davis from our sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky. Wendy Davis? That's the dead one. She's dead. Right. Well, that's our time. Remember to keep your coffee warm and your chin up because that sun shines right around the corner. <laughs> Pat Main signing off. I'm lagging it because I don't want to get copyright strikes for the radio music that's playing. if there's anything else that I could find here or not. I'm just running around a little bit. Thoughts on the game so far? Really good. I'm enjoying it. It's it's difficult, I think. Combat is more difficult. And the puzzles are really difficult as well. Or maybe I'm just not, you know, 
Maybe I'm slow in the head. I don't know. Did you have hey, a break yet? Yeah, I did. I did already have a break. It's crazy how everything seems so fun. I have things to do. And this is not the right way. Oh, man. All right. I love how this exactly pretty much looks like the state of fall that we have right now at the moment with our in our place. Trees changing colors. Oh, what's this? Grand reopening. The Founders Park was relocated here as our small town keeps growing. Yet we are sure you will find this placement for the park every bit as wonderful and relaxing as the previous one. Welcome to the new and improved Founders Park. What about old Margaret? Where will I go? Who will now why'd you go and do that? <laughs> Stomping around like that and scaring the poor little things. To see what you would do. You know. And what about old Margaret? Yeah, what, what about old Margaret? Hello. Who will I look after? Gosh, the people in this town are just weird. No reception, eh? Uh, all music in this game is custom, should be DMCA. Oh, you tell, you tell YouTube that. I've got a, um, my, my first Ellen Wake video got demonetized because of the music. <laughs> Oh, gee, Snake, I played Summer Summer 58. You can watch on my YouTube channel if you want. Mm -hmm. What the heck was that sound? Hi, Nimue. Can I squeeze through here? Nope, okay. Got the message. Hey there. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Heavy Twin Peaks vibes in this game. Oh, I still have to watch Twin Peaks. Seems to be a classic, a cult classic. To buy stuff for taco night. Hot sauce, extra hot. <laughs> Show Pete who's who. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. How does this game compare to the first one? I've never played either, but going to buy the first one. Yeah, go buy the first one first. It's, the first one was great. This one is good so far, too. It's artisan cuckoo clock designer Terry Feldman. Terry, how are we today? Hey there, Pat. You're in just fine. I'm a super big fan of the show. What a treat to be on with you today. Oh, the pleasure's all mine, Terry. <laughs> Now, I hear you're doing something special for Deerfest. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm crafting a selection of custom basewood cuckoo clocks, but the real special sauce is when it's cuckoo time and you're expecting a bird to pop out for a chirp. <gasps> out comes a big old deer. Well, that's just neat. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. Real neat. That's gonna have the tourist tickle pink. And I hear you're selling these at the Sunday market. So make sure to say hello to Wendy Davis from our sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky, while you're there, all right? Terry, you, you, you still there? Yeah, yeah, still here. I'm just... Jeez, Pat, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this. I, what? I, I thought you heard Wendy's dead. Oh, boy. That's, that's a strange joke you're playing there, Terry. No, it's... I, I, I'm sorry, Pat. You, you know all that FBI business. When it was one of those bodies they found. Well, that's just not possible, Terry. Wendy stopped by this morning with three flavors of beef jerky. She brought me the, uh, the, the smoked hickory and the teriyaki and, and then what was the other one? Something teriyaki again. I'm real sorry, Pat. What was that other one? She was. 
just talking about this just hours ago. Small cakery, teriyaki, uh, hickory teriyaki. Thanks, Tapio. It's, it's just a bit of a strange joke, Terry. Tapio. Yako and I won't put you up to this. Pat. Well, somebody's having a laugh over this little prank, I'm sure. Terry, thank you so much for your time. Can't wait to see those deer fest cuckoos at the market. Wendy will be there with her beef jerky as always, and, and we'll be back after this. So either Pat is not up to date. Something is going on with this Wendy Davis thing, huh? And what dog is barking so much? I have to head back. Oof. Got things to do. Maybe he's just like old and has Alzheimer's or something and he just forgot? But then I'm surprised people let him do his radio show. Alright, let's go back to the car. I don't think I'm I'm gonna be able to find anything else in here. Shrimp teriyaki? <laughs> Bubba. They changed the story and Pat somehow still remembers this otherwise? Weird. Yeah, it's a bit confusing, isn't it? Is this my car? You my car? Yeah! Watery. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, and the old guy Tapio on the, on the radio the entire time. <laughs> teriyaki's still better than teriyaki. <laughs> Yeah, Anderson, I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea? Going on your own? No. Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true, or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, real funny. With all the fog or mist, is, this is Silent Hill. The page vibes. placed me in a trailer somewhere in Watery. I should ask around. Local girl. <laughs> hey, Arnicky, welcome in. And thanks. Hey, what did you used to say your dream job was as a kid? I bet it wasn't dock worker. I don't know about all that, but idle hands are the devil's playground, so... Well, us fishing types appreciate you all, at least. I guess I'm not asking it of these folk. Fishing rules. Okay, I want to see if she can go into the water. Just testing my limits. The flooding is even worse here. More like underwatery. I'll have to tell Casey that one later. Mayor Setter will stand up for justice. Mayor Setter will stand up for justice. That you? A vote for Mayor Setter is a vote for everyone. How can you? Watery. How can you talk and still drink sip of your coffee? Hello, ma'am. Hi, can you help me? Hello. Do you have a second? Nice stash. Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. I'm Blum. Uh, Tor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. Uh, are you from around here? Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You have seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. 
I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. I'm looking for a trailer. Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. You Koskel owns it. Mm -hmm. Owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. Hey, how's it going? Ah, hey, y'all, lady, how's it going? It's going good. Might have found over here. Thank you very much. Oh, you rats. Water is what definitely quaint. There's only so many times I can keep fixing the same hole. Okay. Hi, Sugar Bear. Hello. How are you doing? What was this? I bet they have good fish here. Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you too. Nice beard. Bonk. All right. Hey, where's the time gone? It gone poof. There's just a wretched husk of what used to be me left. Oh, that that stair has seen better days for sure. So I guess we're going in here. Okay then. Catchy tune. I don't know if this loops or not. I hope I heard everything now, but Jesus. This is a bit creepy how accurate this is. In this watery's own Nessie? An anonymous source sent this photograph to our editors claiming it was captured during the last full moon. A majestic beast hidden in the depths of the water on an elaborate prank. A sea creature that defies the very laws of nature or submarine relic from the Cold War area. A lonely wanderer searching for companionship and compassion or a fearsome monster out for blood. These questions among others haunt our editorial team here at the Bright Falls record. One after one of our avid readers sent in this mysterious photograph as evidence of an unidentified creature roaming watery's waters and making a rare but opportune appearance. This tiltillating spotting might just be the event of the year. As we dive deeper into the mystery, we here at the Bright Falls Record invite all our readers to a naming competition. What should our local beast be called? Watery's Wonder? Shelly the Sea Monster? Send in your suggestion now. More updates and re revelations to follow as the as the story unfolds. Welcome to Coffee World. One of a kind amusement park opens in Watery. I'm sure all of our readers know Ian Mokoskela, who, with the help of his brother Jaco, has been making our small town of Watery a bustling hub with his various business ventures. The latest of these, Coffee World, has its grand opening just around the corner. I had the chance to ask Ilmo a few questions about Coffee World. Ilmo, what is Coffee World about? I'm glad you asked. Coffee World is the world's greatest coffee-themed amusement park for all ages, and right here in our hometown of Watery. It's got all the rides, thrills, and excitement you could ask for. And of course, lots of delicious fresh coffee, both hot and ice. Put that in. How did the unique business idea come about? Well, as you know, I'm all about ideas. An idealist, you could say. <laughs> but what's even more important to me than my many successful businesses is our hometown. With my help, we can re revitalize Watery, build its economy back up, bring the tourists back in and enjoy ourselves in the process too. Coffee World is just as much for the townspeople as it is for the out-of-towners. Which attraction should the visitors be sure not to miss? Oh, that's like having a, to choose a favorite child. It's impossible. But the Slow Roaster is, of course, a wonderful ride full of mystery and magic. And the Espresso Express is sure to give you a thrill. Also, don't forget to drop by the Fresh Pot. Fresh Pot? <laughs> Gift shop on your way out. You never know what treasures you might find. Coffee at least, I bet. Yes. <laughs> Moosefest meets Suomi Hall, raffles, karaoke, and skits. 
Glögi Korvapusti and Karyalan Piraka. Come on, come on. Okay. That song really rocks. Why would you close it? Go in. Coffee wordless is heaven. Yeah. Oh, I got batteries. Damn, game. Thank you. Tom the Poet, a film by Th Thomas Zane. A pinprick of light in an ocean of darkness, staring. Thomas Zane as the diver. Barbara Jagger as the dark presence. Cynthia Weaver as the lady of light. Emil Har Emil Hartman as the assistant. Written and directed by Thomas Zane, based on a novel by Alan Wake. Tom the poet. That's why. That's why Ati was referring to him as Tom. Maybe. Oh, this is so confusing. A terrifying, strange dive into the dark depths of an artist's mind. The dark doppelganger in art and life of Thomas Zane, original Thomas Zane, the auteur, guest lecture by the president of the Bright Falls Stem Society, Thomas A. Emerson. Discussing Zane's early career in Finland, his artist commune in Bright Falls, his lost work, Tom the Poet, his mysterious disappearance in 1970, playing his own dark double in his films, the poet, the writer, the diver, Thomas the Rhymer, 24th of November, 2023. What are you? This is so crazy. You, you, you start to doubt everything again. Excuse me. Do you not know oh, in the middle of the show. Yeah, but he's. I want to find the first FBI agent to ever get shushed. Yep. Okay, I uh, got a map part. Who would have thunk that Ati can sing so beautifully? I feel like this is a mind blown moment, Liz, but I don't know why. Because these were all characters from the first game, all of them. And now it's just a, a novel by Ellen Wake, you know? Mom's family was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Saunas, lakes, seems nice. Enjoying the sauna? Enjoying the sauna. You bet. The steam is amazing on my creaky old joint. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. I've Yay. heard that taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. All right. Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure, I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Do you think that'd work? You're the professional. Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. I'll try to get rid of the bad boys, okay? Uh, was Ati in the first game? No. He was not control, though, I heard. A sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a goner. They also say silence is golden. <laughs> that shushed him up good. <laughs> he was like... Can I go inside of this building? Oh yeah, I can. Privacy? Not if the FBI agent is around. Having your own stuff? Not when FBI agent is around. It's all mine! Whew. Hot. Oh, there's a little ducky in the bucket. Well, it's a sauna, love. What did you expect? Cold? I'm, I'm just happy that there was no naked person in there now. <laughs> Have you heard old Pat's radio show lately? Yeah, I, I, I fear he's losing his grip on the reality. I don't care to listen to pointless jibber jabber. Not on the radio and not in the sauna. Silence is golden. Totally not sus, me just sli silently walking next to them. Hope you're well. Adrian, hi, I'm good. How are you doing? Beer is good for everything. I don't know about that one. 
I mean, it's good. I don't know if it's good for you, but it's it's good. Hey, Saga! Oh, Over here. you two fellas. Hello hey, there. Elmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the web page. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. Are you they twins? Act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. Uh, about the cult of the tree. Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's gotten pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it, hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. Facial expressions are really good, I think. Uh, do you happen to have a bolt cutter for me, please? You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse trailer park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Is the horror story messing with their memories? Or with yours? Coffee World? So what is Coffee World? <laughs> you mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose. Until recently. Oh no, what happened to Plus, it? Plus, uh, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. So... your commercials? They're more than commercial saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And, uh, Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. With really. the fuck the government fuck part. Off. <laughs> I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and, uh, check them all out. Well, Profiling is the key. Yeah, let's profile them. Urban legend. That's famous Finnish actor Peter Franz. Elmo okay. thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops, brother. Yako. The shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. The trailer. You know, also how they always depict like people like this. You know, they they're like twins. They look exactly the same. And there was this other um, I don't know if they were siblings or whatnot, but the, the bookers, they also did the same thing with those two people. And it looked like it's one person, maybe? Just like split it personalities? It sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Light, laughter, and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. Like here. Those two look so much alike as well. The bookers. Weird. 
Jöt, en I'd like to see my trailer. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'd get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Thanks. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Thanks. Call the gift shop so they can give Saga a hand. Yep. There's Coffee World. Need to get across the river. King Harald Fine here from Vikings. Ooh. Mm What was that? That sounded like somebody was throwing, like, I don't know, something. Throwing knives? Oh. Throwing mohawks? FBI, show yourself! Oh no, it's the zoomy shadows. No, not the zoomy shadows. I hated those. Bruh. Welcome in. Weird. Another rhyme. Oh, one of those. A deer doll. All right. And another deer doll. No, moose. Moose and deer. Okay. All right. This game looks nice and spooky. Yeah, it is. It is. Welcome to the stream, Cookie Cutter. All right. The gentle beast with a beautiful crown runs through the woods with a worried frown. From the hunter he flees between the mighty trees to make it out alive. The one with a beautiful crown, I guess, is the deer doll. It looks more like a crown. Doesn't make sense. Okay, then not. Moose? Huh. Moose. Moose it is. Okay, what did I do? What did I change? Huh. Blah! Jesus. <laughs> Hi. Oh, damn. Another charm. Good thing Logan made me this bracelet. All right, let me pick up my moose figurine so I can use that again in the future. 
Oh, I just have 11 more bullets. I'm gonna be dead. I'm gonna be so dead soon. Am I even on the right track? Am I supposed to go this way? Should I have just crossed the bloody... No, I have to go around, right? This is what they wanted me to go through here. I thought maybe I could like cross over cross over at this part, but I think this is where I'm meant to go. But there seems to be coming some houses soon. If I had a voice I could sing. Mm -hmm. Hi Pranka, welcome in. Another locked box. Oh no, and I don't have the 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 puzzle thingy. Okay, never mind. That wasn't too bad. Did I get some bullets? Oh sweet. Oh, and one of those things. I found another dead taken over by the radio tower. Looked like it was bashed to death. There was a lunchbox and some weird knitting by the corpse too. Ooh, by the radio tower. So there's there will we find another lunchbox. I took care of the I took care of the body, but that's the third one this month. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. We need to find this guy and let him know the cult of the tree means business. We mean business. <laughs> Not for a while, but wanted to say hi to everyone. Hi Franco. Good to see you. Said Mooseman, right? Nothing in there? Aww. Rats. Please let there be a safe in the house. Oh god, this game looks so incredibly good. Like the, f the foggy forest. So nice. Oh. I thought okay, never mind. I thought <laughs> I thought that it was one of the little statues. David, thank you, my friend, for three months to prank or prank or enjoy the emotes. Welcome back to the chonkies. There's another cult stash. Sweet. Hey, if you take the crossbow out, put it back in the stash when you're done. P.S. I changed the code as asked. There's a crossbow inside! I want the crossbow! This amusement park sounds pretty intimidating and creepy and like a murder house, but okay. Okay, oh, yes, 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 yes. Safe, 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 safe. It's already amazing that you're here watching, Pranka. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, thank you. Don't worry. Hey authors, welcome in. Hi Pink Dog. Manuscript page. Why can't I not just read it? Manuscript page here. Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. But the Koskelas has said had said about her living in watery with Logan unsettled her, for the horror story to involve her was one thing, but involving her daughter was crossing a line. Something darted across the path ahead, too fast to see. Saga drew her weapon. Her eyes searched the woods, a noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look. A local, a man, on the right ridge above her. No, not a man. A monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust! 
Do I need to go here? Thanks for the follows, guys. Welcome to the lizards. Nice to have you. All right. Oh, we have a few things to investigate. The trail of the cult. Don't need to go over all this again. All right. Blum mentioned Ilmo. Ilmo said someone at Coffee World could help me. Really think I lift here. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. Wakes says a story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. Fact versus fiction. According to Wake, the story is changing people's memories. That's why they think they know me. But I'm not a character. I'm real. Need to track what's part of the story and what isn't. Ilmo owned the trailer park where I supposedly lived. Calls me his funniest resident. My life in Watery? Rose recognized me in the diner at Bright Falls. Says I moved away after Logan died. Logan is not dead, but what else did the story change about her life? Knowing might help me fight this thing. Finally, someone appreciates my jokes. But seriously, what kind of life did I live here? <laughs> um, nursery rhymes. The rhyme found at the shooting range near Watery. Moose doll used to solve the rhyme puzzle. Doesn't make sense. Why not? Oh, sorry. I th it's this good belongs to the statues here. Whoopsie poopins. Makes sense. Whoopsie poopins. And now the story. For later, which I can't do yet. Okay, and then cult stashes. Found another one near watery. Watery area. There you go. Isn't that a very weird name for a place? Watery. <laughs> Is it just me? If I ever say my name correctly, much respect. That's the German in me. I just heard a breathing that sounded very much like... It's not breathing, but it sounded like the breathing from here. Like the breathing from the... Uh, oh god, what's the name? Regenerators in Resident Evil 4. Oh god, I hate those. Freaking nightmare. Right, this seems to be a dead end, literally. How can I open you? I changed the code as asked. Have I missed anything in the little hut? Wow. Any little reference? Nothing, huh? Hmm. Game is really immersive. Oh god, I love. I really enjoy it. I really love it. Oh man, I'm trying to make sense of it, but wait a minute. Two. Five, seven? Worth a shot. I thought maybe only the, the golds that have darts in them would work, you know? <gasps> Wait! Wait a minute. Maybe it's five? 
two, seven, five to seven. Please. Yes! <laughs> if you aren't wearing the mask, this does not belong to you. I'm taking it anyway. <laughs> Greatest hits trophy earned. Yeah, it's the amount of darts. I didn't see the amount of darts. Um, this one had two. This one had one. This one looked like there were way more, but it was the shadow. So I thought like, ah, this is gon not gonna be it. But then I looked closely and then I saw it's just three darts. Oh, I now can pick them up. Cool. Amazing. Alrighty. Um, let me... Oh boy, this thing is massive. I mean, yes, makes sense, but still. That's what she said. Let's put that bad boy here. Do you think I can collect the darts again? That'd be nice. Okay, let me save again so I don't have to do that again. Save. And wait, was there more? Ah, uh, these are just the normal dots, huh? Dang it. Cool. <laughs> hey, <laughs> no bully. No bully the German chick, okay? Oh man, I don't really want to go further into this place. What the? <laughs> no way. Oh shit. There's a little supply box. Okay. People were right. <laughs> <laughs> Two shots. He down. And you get darts back a little bit. Nice. Two darts shot, one got back. Cool. Damn, I don't like it when they sprint at you. Like I wish I wish Ellen Wake could run as fast. As these things can run. My life would be so much easier. <laughs> Shoot a dartboard with a crossbow and there won't be much dartboard left. True. <gasps> but it's a video game, you know. Video game. Gosh. Why are you so pretty, game? Why are you so pretty? What's that sound? I'm looking if I can see one of those yellow arrows, but nope. As a writer, he understands it's more dramatic to walk slowly. Yeah, but it also gets him killed more often, you know? <laughs> <coughs> Right, where are we at? Oh, there's a little loot box. I'd buy that for a dollar. Another one of those <gasps> lunch boxes. Yes. Hi, hero. I think a new- a few pieces of paper from my private fanfiction project got mixed into some of these stashes, but I don't know which ones. I posted some online and they're getting pretty good reviews, but I appreciate it if you didn't read them. It's a privacy thing. Private fanfiction? It's a privacy thing. Why is this highlighted? Just so that the person who finds it wouldn't snoop? Oh, I can't jump down here. Ah, 
I'm a bit mortified of this whole carnival thing. I have a feeling it's gonna be a bit like um, Silent Hill. I've never played the games, but I've seen the movies. This game similar to Resident Evil? Mm, no, I don't think. I don't think it is. Not really. Oh, I can't open the box. What's in the box? <laughs> I can't walk over the box though. Can I bump it into the water? Ha! <laughs> Splosh. Bye. If you don't have loot for me, then fuck off. <laughs> Maybe it'll be like Madison, your favorite. Oof. Not Madison. Although, you know, I w actually watched somebody else's playthrough and I thought it was not that bad. I don't like this carnival one bit. Fun! I would like to sing you the Sponge Spongebob fun song now, but I just know the German version so I can't... Is that another manuscript page? And yes, that song lives rent-free in my head. <laughs> the story. The clicker. He wanted it to make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. The clicker would push it across the final threshold. The clicker. For later. Scratch and on. Scratch stalked through the forest. A ter terrifying dark presence in the night. More sense than seen. Darkness boiled in his skull like a storm cloud crammed into a bottle. The woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him, directed by him. His army of darkness. His singular purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head. Waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy. Filling them with his purpose, the clicker. He wanted to make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. The clicker would push it across the final threshold. A detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. He was so close to claiming it. The Taken gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible leashes. Filled with bloodlust, Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in the in a, swung it in his hand, as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him on. Let the final deer fest commence. All right, beware the sign. Noted. Alex Casey, lunchbox found on the way to Coffee World. Uh, watery area? Whoosh! Fan fiction? Do I even want to know? I don't know if we want to know. <laughs> no loot and out of here, says Liz. Exactly. Oh, you get multiple of these, huh? Coffee mug charm. Saves you from death, but shatters in the process. Well, since I got so many of those, filling the shape trophy earned. <laughs> I read online that Twitch is gonna give out more emotes for partners soon and affiliates. Yeah, uh, animated emote slots, five more. So they're doubling the amount of animated emote slots, which I'm so excited for <laughs> as an emote artist and uh, just a massive fan of emotes in general. It's like one of my favorite parts of Twitch is um, I'm super excited. I already have the emotes prepared so I can emo uh, I can upload the emotes Hello? the moment that we get the slots. Anyone here? 
Nope. Did they get out? Did the Taken get them? Or were they turned into Taken? I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. Ilmo said the key is kept in the gift shop safe. Fresh pot gift shop open. <laughs> Oh dear. Locked. Need something to jimmy it open with. A list of maintenance work. A screwdriver. Huh. Hey, the lock is jammed again. It forced it I forced it last time with the screwdriver, which has disappeared again. Put shit back when you use it. <laughs> For real though. Uh lock maintenance. Coffee World entrance sign defaced, it's cleaned with detergent, waxed, waxed sign, waxed sign, waxed sign? Couldn't, I can't read. Um, should be good until someone tags it again tomorrow, Victor. Um, slow, slow roaster pot is stuck, won't swing. I hit it with some WD-40, seems good for now. That's the way to go, that fixes everything. Fallen tree near Latte Lagoon. Should probably call the tree guy, chainsawed and removed, keeping the wood. Several burned out bulbs on percolator, replaced and ordered more bulbs. Squeaking on Latte Lagoon car, be tightened with the bolts, less bad now. Percolator control panel jammed, removed front with screwdriver, found a penny in there. Steward. Case board, let's go! Uh, the trail of the cult, let's go. Oh god, I'm loving this. Coffee world. Coffee world. The most caffeinated place on earth. And yet nobody's here to help me get that key. Can read fine unless your brain is quicker than your tongue. Yeah, it is. I'm always like stumbling upon my own words. Because I already read the next one in my head and but my my mouth is like, hey, hang on. Let me catch up. Gift shop door is locked. <sighs> Getting inside the gift shop. Uh, maintenance lock list screwdriver at last use a percolator. Fresh pot! <laughs> Dave Grohl, the legend. Note about using a screwdriver to force the lock open. Bam! Using screwdrivers to break into gift shops isn't exactly standard procedure. But we gotta do what we gotta do, right? Even a screwdriver can be a key if you try hard enough. <laughs> yes. All right. So we gotta find the the, the screwdriver. And if I got it correctly, it's uh, at percolator, whatever that is. I love these big coffee mugs, guys. This. Everybody is always complaining about my size of coffee mug, yeah? This is the dream. This is this is the coffee hot tub dream, you know? Instead of me sitting in a hot tub like this, we need a coffee mug like this. That's the shit. Hi, evil witcher. Ooh, a witcher, huh? Welcome in. Love me some witcher, but not the evil ones. Coffee World Review Notes. Pros. Coffee themed names for the rides. Mildly amusing. Nice view of watery from the top of the ferris wheel. The mascots were trying their best. What else? Okay, coffee? Cons. Rickety rides. Creepy mood. Money hungry owner. They killed the poor moose. Two out of five sta stars. They killed the moose? What did they do with the moose? Did they eat it? Percolator is what you use to filter coffee, if I'm not mistaken. Uh-huh. I don't like the sounds of this. Another one of those cold boxes. Another one. Only striped cups. Only striped cups, okay. Seven. Oh. 
one. That's striped, right? It's it's striped. It's white and blue striped. Four? Seven one four? One four seven 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 one four? One four seven. Nice. Do not take what is not yours. But why did you make it so easy then? It's mine now because I was so smart to unlock this. Hey, hey, hey. Where's the Christmas tree thing here? Too easy for Lisa, I don't know. So far for me personally, the hardest one was the... Um, we're sorry, this toilet is temporarily out of order. What the fuck? All the toilets are out of order. Get your shit together, literally! <laughs> so far, the hardest one was the one in the grocery store in the beginning of the game for me because, I don't know, I was sleepy. <laughs> How do I get on the other side? Screwdriver, wait a minute. The percolator! This way. This is where I need the... Screwdriver, right? But I need to follow to get to the percolator. Bowling row. Oh, loot! Sweet! Keep, 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 keep! Thanks. I'm incredibly grateful. Oh Jesus. my god. <laughs> Calm down, Saga. It's just a pot of coffee. Jesus, a creepy pot of coffee. Have a beautiful day. Why did they make this so creepy though? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Drippy. Mr. Drippy is kind of trippy. The percolator, here it is. Oh no. I was about to say that I'm very grateful, okay, but then. this is not so creepy yet. What am I supposed to join in on the raid? Uh, oh shit! What? Oh, what? should get that gift shop open. Jesus. My God. I 
I'm almost all out of batteries. Please give me batteries, game. Please, 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 please. Taking the bolts too, though. Thank you. Oh God, what is coming there? Oh Lord. Oh God. Oh God, I have no. Wouldn't be enough. I have no flashlight. <laughs> I can't defeat her because I have no flashlight. Terminal patience. Lady! I have no flashlight! I can't- I can't- I can't do this! Is this the gift shop thing? Ma'am! Just- Oh god, please! Screwdriver! Break the shit open! Ma'am! 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 Move it! Now where is that safe? Too many. <sighs> please, game, give me batteries. Please, please, what the... Oh man, this place is tiny! Hi, DK, hello. Hi, Fade. So if the cult wants to defeat Liz, they just have to put a bunch of loot everywhere to distract her. Yes, that's that's gonna be very effective. <laughs> um, found near the Ferris wheel in Coffee World. And watery, right? Hi, Flame Joker. Hello. Stash found near watery. Whoosh. Sorry, we're out of Bright Falls blend. Anna apologized to the customers. I'll just grab some from the back. More coffee coming right up. See, she suggested they write the percolator while they waited. She passed Ilmo at the Espresso Express. Big smile, Anna. Coffee world is all smiles. Anna nodded, smiled. She smiled until her face hurt. Anna stopped walking, realized she was standing next to the Huotari well. Must have zoned out, she thought. She was about to go, but something in the well caught her eye. The well was mentioned by Ati in the song. A shadow shifted in the dark. Anna was overcome by vertigo. The world tilted and then she was falling down, 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 into the shaft. The darkness opened up to swallow her. Oh dear. Batteries, yes, baby. Batteries. Locked. Okay. Why? Oh. What would Ilmo use for a code? Why did you change the damn password to the safe again? I thought it was a lookout fixer supplier. Who hurt you? Why are you so paranoid, Jacko? Calm down. This one's easy. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. See? Not rocket science. Ilmo. Let me write that down. If my... Pen decides to write tracker lookout and cleaner. I don't know what that means, but we will figure it out. Chat together we shall prevail. What's this? Hey Elmo, heads up. Got another angry voicemail from a parent about a kid poking himself in the eye with one of the souvenir pucos. Whose grand idea was it to sell kids plastic knives in a coffee-themed amusement park anyway? All right, it was yours. Jeff, I need another moose favor. Mocha, 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 mocha was doing just fine. He even got a glowing vet report and then bam. They say it was a heart attack. I'm not blaming you. Maybe he just had a bad ticker. No tolerance for stimulants either. We're telling the kids that Mocha's taking a little vacation. But I could really use your help, ASAP, to maintain continuity, 
continuity. Do you have any more in stock? Thanks in advance, Elmo. Open the safe. All right. So do we have like a? Is it on the map? Maybe. Carrie's garage. Gift shop. Tracker lookout cleaner tracker. Hi, Jade up. Maybe it's something like on a map and they have like uh, areas in sector three or something, you know? Coffee world stuff. <gasps> oh! Hope they're not all monsters now. All right, so we have tracker. I don't see tracker anywhere. Lookout and cleaner? Hmm. News of the week. Remember to bring your liability forms for Tuesday's Bring Your Doc to Coffee World Day. The photos have stickers on them. With coffee beans. Congratulations to Thomas for completing his first year at Coffee World. As usual, this work anniversary earns you a free packet of freshly ground coffee. The percolator is unfortunately undergoing maintenance, but don't worry, we will fix it as soon as possible. Susan, lost and found. Maintenance, ride operator, janitor, gift shop, security, caregiver, park, walk around, and con concession stand. Tracker. Tracker's like lost and found, right? Maybe? I mean, you... Or maybe security, because... Hmm... Lookout. Who could be lookout? No, lookout would be security, right? And then cleaner would be maybe the janitor? I don't know what concession means. Or park walk around. This could also be a tracker. Shit. Teabag, thank you for the full one. Resub with Prime. Enjoy the emotes. Thank you so much. Concession is food. Ah, okay, so now that's not really m making sense. Right operator. So I think maybe tracker is like one bean. And then lookout, maybe security, that would be four beans. And then cleaner would be janitor, which would be six. One, four, six? I don't know. Let's try. The keys to my trailer. Now to find the clicker and the colt. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Uh, investigate my trailer. How do I get to my trailer anyways? Also, I haven't been down here. I kind of want to check if I can go there. It's in a completely undiscovered area. I don't know if I can hop down there somehow. This looks like it's not possible. Ah, through here. So we have to go through, we have to go back through here. Mm -hmm, gotcha. Danger Copter, 29 months, holy moly, you legend. Thank you so much for such a long time of support. Enjoy the emotes. Welcome back to the Chonkies. First try, let's go. <laughs> Guys, I'm scared, I'm gonna get my booty kicked. Hang on, let me actually take some pills. Gonna take another one? There you go. And all the way healed. Finish oh, God. Our fathers! Shit. 
in one go. Sheesh. Give me that back, bitch. Oh, I lost a lot of battery, though. Damn it. Don't leave clues to the combination of my safe when this is round. I might... I might solve it. <laughs> oh god, there's too many of these. Honestly, there's too many! I just want to go here. Although my tra... Where are my trailers anyways? Knight's Workshop. They also said we should go here, right? Didn't they say so? Go to the Knight's Workshop. Calvelala. Calviala? I don't know. Kalevala? <laughs> Kalevala. Alright, I want to go to the Letter Lagoon. Down, oh my god! I keep forgetting that the game doesn't pause when, when you're opening the map, which I think is absolutely not nice. Not nice. Uh-uh. Hey, more pills! Let's go! <laughs> oh, and I'm out of batteries again! Ugh! <sighs> Am I on the right track? Yeah, I need to go down this way well, if I want to go to the... All my life. <laughs> hey, I haven't seen this one. Good that I came here. And it has batteries, baby. Alright, this seems to be... Oh, this seems to be the right track. <gasps> and there's more. Sweet. Oh god, this- this laughter is just like... I don't know. This is definitely not a family-friendly thing. David, thank you for the five gifted subs! Thank you! Uh, and filling another goal, oh my god. That's three songs now, right? Thank you so much. Thank you. Everybody enjoy the emotes, I make them myself. Welcome to the Chonkies. I can walk in here? No. No, no, I can't. Okay, never mind. Thank you, David. Oh shit, it's already pretty late, guys. Damn. Having so much fun, I don't want to stop. <laughs> oh, already been to the gift shop. Thanks, mate. Alright, now we go back and then... Ugh, and then... Downtown... We need to go to the trailer park. But when we're on our way there, we should go maybe here as well. There's a safe. I think I'm gonna go to the safe. I just completely forgot where it was. Uh, follow this path, okay. David is legend! Yes. Oh no. Oh no. Was it in here? The safe? No, it was not. Uh oh. Was it another building? Over there somewhere? Yeah! Okay. Balloons, thank you for the 18 months. Holy moly, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, balloons. Thank you for the 18 months with Prime. Welcome back, the junkies. Um, all right, guys, I think I'm gonna call it for today. Uh, I completely lost track of time and I would love to continue, but yeah, <laughs> I, I totally 
didn't realize how late it already is. So we will continue here tomorrow, the same time we started today. <laughs> then sometimes it's very challenging, but it's a me thing. I will get into it. And I feel like I was doing okay today. I didn't die that often. Apart from the beginning today, that was, that was bad. But yeah, I'm loving this and I can't wait to continue tomorrow. I'm gonna save here now. Thanks everybody for being here today.